Hello students, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the motorcycle is traveling at 40 meter per second when it is at point A. If the speed is then decrease at this function that V dot is equal to minus 0.05 s meter per second square where s is in meters measured from A determine its speed and acceleration when it reaches point B. So now we are given the, the change in the speed magnitude. We are given V dot as a function of s. So now V dot is equal to minus 0.05 s and as we know that the change in the velocity magnitude is always equal to the tangential acceleration in the curvilinear motion. So we are given the tangential acceleration in terms of s. So this is a t is equal to f of s function. Now we are required to determine the speed of the of this motorcycle at point b and the acceleration when it reaches point b. So now we can apply the kinematic equation that is uh, v dv is equal to a ds and here we can use a t. So now we can write that v dv now a t is minus 0 0.05 s into ds and now we, we need to integrate both sides of the equation in order to get the velocity as a function of s since we are required to find the velocity at point b. Now we need to integrate uh, the left hand side from 40 meter per second since the velocity at point a is 40 so we need to integrate this from 40 to v and on the right hand side we need to integrate this from s equals to 0 let's say that at point a the s is equal to 0 so this will be from 0 to s so now if when i integrate this this will be v squared divided by 2 and that will be from 40 to v and this will be equal to minus 0 0.05 uh, 0 0.05 s square s squared divided by 2 and this will be from 0 to s. Now if I multiply both sides of equation by 2 so we will cancel out this 2 so we will be left with the v square and now, now if we put these limits this will be v square minus 40 square this will be equal to minus 0 0.05 s square minus 0 so we can write this is minus 0 0.05 s square and now from this we can write that v square is equal to 40 square minus 0 0.05 s square and if we want to find the velocity as a function of s then we have to take the square root on both sides so this will give us v as a function of s. Now at point b uh, we can find the distance traveled from a to b we can find this distance traveled and as we know that the s is equal to r theta and now the radius of the curvature is given right the radius of the path is given which is 150 this is given this is 150 so we will write this is 150 and theta is given in degrees this is 60 degrees so now we know that uh, 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians and 1 degree is 2 pi by 360 radians so now we can say that uh, 60 degrees is equal to 60 uh, multiplied by 2 pi divided by 360 degrees so that will give us in radians right so let me write that this is 60 into 2 pi divided by 360 so this will give us the distance traveled from a to b so this is 150 multiplied by 60 multiplied by uh, 2 pi divided by 360 so this gives us uh, 50 pi right this is so s is equal to 50 pi now if you want to find the velocity at point b so we need to put s equals to 50 pi in this whole equation so that will be the velocity 
of the motorcycle at point B. So this is let's say VB and this is 40 square minus 0 0.05 into 50 pi square under the square root. So this is uh, 40 square minus 0 0.05 into 50 pi square. So this gives us 19 point VB is 19.139 meter per second. So this is that velocity of the motorcycle at point B. Now we are asked to find the acceleration at point B. So now um, the acceleration magnitude will be equal to a t square plus a n square under the square root. Now we can find a n. A n will be equal to v b square the velocity at point B divided by the radius of curvature. So now we know VB which is 19.139. This will become square and the radius of the curvature is constant. It is 150. This is given. This is 150. So now we can find the, the normal component of the acceleration. So this is 19.139 square divided by 150. So this gives us the normal component of the acceleration a n equals to 2.442 meter per second square and we can find the tangential acceleration since we are given the tangential acceleration as a function of x as a function of s and we can put s equals to 50 pi so that tangential acceleration is equal to minus 0 0.05 into 50 pi so this is minus 0 0.05 into 50 into 50 into pi so this gives us minus 7.854 meter per second square this is the tangential acceleration now to find the resultant acceleration we can uh, we can apply the Pythagoras theorem so we can put the tangential acceleration magnitude that is 7.854 square plus the normal acceleration that is 2.442 square under the square root. So this is uh, 7.854 square plus 2.442 square. This gives us the acceleration magnitude or the resultant acceleration that is equal to 8.225 meter per second square and now here the the in the tangential acceleration the negative sign tells us that tangential acceleration is acting in the in the in the negative direction of the of the tangential axis so let's represent the, those axes at point b so at point b the tangential the positive tangential direction is going to is going to act in the upward direction like this since the velocity is increasing in the upward direction um, this is the tangential direction and the normal direction is going to act towards the center of the curvature so now the the n is positive it is acting towards the center which has a magnitude of 2.442 so this will be the normal acceleration is going to act towards the positive end direction. This is this is the normal axis and this is a n and the tangential acceleration is acting in the opposite direction like this. This is the tangential acceleration. And now the resultant of both of these will give us that acceleration that is the resultant acceleration whose magnitude is uh, 8.225 and now if you want to find the angle of this resultant with the tangential axis axis this angle let's say this angle is let's say phi if you want to find this angle phi so we can apply the uh, tan theta so we can bring that a n somewhere here so the resultant of the tangential uh, the tangential acceleration the normal acceleration will give us this uh, this a and this angle phi can be determined by applying tan phi 
So we can write that tan phi and tan phi will be equal to a n divided by the tangential acceleration. And we can say that phi is equal to tan inverse and a n magnitude is 2.442 and a t is uh, minus 7.854. Uh, we can write only the the magnitude, right? So this will give us the tan inverse, and this is two point four four two divided by seven point eight five four, and this gives us phi angle. This phi angle is equals to seventeen point two seven two degrees. So. So this is that phi angle. This this angle is phi angle, which, and it is equal to seventeen point two seven two degrees. So at point B, the motorcycle has a velocity of nineteen point one three nine meter per second, and the acceleration magnitude at point B is eight point two two five meter per second square. And one thing I should add that the tangential acceleration is negative. This negative sign tells us that the. Uh, the velocity magnitude is decreasing as the bike is as the motorcycle is going in the positive tangential direction. So the uh, velocity magnitude is going to decrease. So if it is going to decrease, it is going to deaccelerate in the tangential direction. So that is why we have this negative sign here in the tangential acceleration magnitude. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning. Also, subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics.